Hey guys, my name is Zach. Welcome to this custom corner showcase. Today we're looking at my Sebastian Shaw Darth Vader 1-6 scale custom figure. I've been putting this figure together for about eight months and it's still a work in progress. There's some small things that I need to do, uh, but it's coming together uh, really nicely. I recently upgraded the bodysuit from the Sideshow Lords of the Sith Vader to the Hot Toys Tarkin 2-pack Vader bodysuit, and that was a massive upgrade. I normally pose it in the Hamlet pose from the Mythos Vader and uh, have him peering down over the helmet. Uh, occasionally I'll switch it to a more crispy Anakin sculpt or the Tony May Vader sculpt, and that pretty much just depends on how I'm feeling for that week. The recipe for this will be down below, but you can see here I hollowed out the Kyoto Dome to put the uh, Sideshow Deluxe head back there to show off the damaged Vader uh, flesh. I've also worked on customizing some Hot Toys gloves to reflect the damage from the end of Return of the Jedi, and I think it's come out pretty well. Here's a close-up here. It's just cut up electrical wiring, and I used a solder to burn the plastic on the uh, on the glove. The Kyoto helmet looks excellent in my opinion. I don't think there's any Vader helmet that looks as good as this. This is the uh, Kyoto face mask with the Hasbro titanium dome, and uh, you can see I still need to add the pleating to this tunic, and I also need to add the belt stud for Return of the Jedi, which goes to Vader's left of the uh, belt buckle. The stand that I have it on is an Anakin Skywalker stand with a Hot Toys Chewbacca base, uh, nameplate with the base, and it looks really good. And the cape is El Ferrigno 51 on eBay, and I just told him to cut it for the um, Hot Toys New Hope Vader. You can see some of the raw parts here, um, unfinished parts. I have a, plenty of these as back stock. And uh, this is the Kyoto kit. It's a really amazing kit. If you're into 1 6 Vader customizing, I highly recommend getting it. I used the mask, the chest box, and the belt boxes for this figure. And uh, here's one final shot. I want to thank Jesse for shooting this video and editing it. It looks amazing. And uh, hopefully, you guys tune in for our next custom corner video.